Wednesday floss tube. Hello, crafty friends. Um, I just wanted to uh, mention right up front uh, my can offer my condolences and my thoughts with anyone uh, affected by friends or family or yourself in Lebanon and the terrible blast that that happened yesterday. And I know um, as we watch the details of that unfold and the 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 loss and the injury and the absolute devastation happening there i just uh i hope you're safe and i hope you're okay oh, um yeah it was i i i saw the news usually um if something happens that i should be aware of john will message me and make sure that i that i that i tune in um online and, and figure out uh, wh what's going on so it was shortly after I, I put the video up yesterday that i that i found out ah uh, um so crafting chat for today uh i i really don't have much to share i worked on my exchange piece yesterday last night so but i'm not going to share that every day just because it is it is supposed to be secret stitching and i i feel a little bit I feel a little bit like I'm I'm spoiling surprises um, for Kimberly if I if I try and share it every day. So, but clearly you saw how much I had done. I need to um, make that work a priority so that I can get it out in the mail to her in time. Uh, so I'm just I'm knitting on my sock while we chat today. I have done exactly one row <laughs> of the heel flap since the last time I shared it with you two days ago. So I would like to do a few more rows in that today. But my main crafting that I'm going to be doing today is sewing. I, I have some bags cut out that I'd like to put together and today is a perfect sewing day because uh, I, have to, I have to kind of keep the weather in mind when I, when I plan out my work. I know it sounds really funny, but it's just yet another one of those things um, when I'm working with solar power as my main um, source of power for my sewing machine and we have uh, a few days in a row of gray weather then if I don't plan my work accordingly then I end up having to run the generator a lot in order to charge the battery so that I can use the sewing machine which isn't a situation I like to get into because it feels it feels wasteful um, to have to do that when, you know, if I just plan a little more carefully, keeping the weather forecast in mind, then I can sort of stay ahead of the game. And then when the weather is sunny, uh, then I can spend the work, work hours during the day, I can spend those hours sewing what I've prepped during the gray days. So, um, and today is a doubly perfect day because it's cool and it's quite windy which means that we aren't wanting to necessarily be outside all day because the weather is so perfect and lovely that, you know, Nicholas would rather be out in his kayak than um, sitting inside playing with a dog or, you know, playing Legos or things like that. So uh, today is one of those perfect days. It's bright outside. It's quite windy. You might be able to hear, I have the window shut so that we won't get wind noise in the camera, but it's nice and bright, it's windy. There are white caps out in the open area of the water and it's cool, it's quite cool. Now, <laughs> I have two, two, two different warm things with me at the moment. I have my gray cardigan and I have the maroon cardigan that I wore yesterday. I have lots of under, like shirts to wear underneath, but I only have two things to keep me warm. And since it is, it, it can get, when it's windy, like really windy, our cottage is quite well insulated, but it can still, it can, you know, be a little bit on the cool side. So you're gonna see these, <laughs> you're gonna see my clothes over and over and over again. But uh, I don't think, I don't think you'll, you'll judge me for that. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's a perfect sewing day, so I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do a little bit more work on my sock. I'm going to um, work more on my mystery smalls exchange. 
And uh, I thought maybe you might like a peek at some of the other things that I brought with me that I won't be working on for the next little while, but but dreaming perhaps of, of fitting a, a few stitches in between. So I'm gonna just pick a random bag off the shelf and let's have a peek at what's inside. So I'm gonna try to pick something that I haven't shared with you in a while. So how about, should we pick stitching today? Since I've already shared my, my sock. So let's pick this one. Because there are two, I think there's only two projects in here that I haven't shared in a while. So are you ready? Okay, so project number one. Oh, I haven't shared this one in a long time. Oh, I love this one. Okay, project number one is True Blue. So this is a project by um, Barbara and Cheryl. Barbara and Cheryl, this is leaflet number 38. And I haven't put a single stitch in this in ages. And so that's why I packed it to bring with me because I was really hoping that at some point in the next little while I might be able to, to do a little bit. So here's where, <laughs> here's what I have. Now I have this on a Q-snap. This should fit the entire design. It should fit the entire design. And there's my stitching so far. Apologies that the color is not going to show true, but the colors and the design are just so beautiful. So there, that's that, there. Now I'm going to show you the, I always talk about this with this pattern because it's shocking. In order to create that effect of that beautiful door and all of those flowers and vibrant colors, that's the DMC list. Yeah. So I need, <clears throat> I'm missing a lot of these colors. I need to order them. So what I did was I started in an area where I had most of the DMC colors already. And then I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna work my way out and I'm going to find the DMC as I go. So that's the plan. So that's my first whip. And again, I'd love to get back to this within the next Six weeks? We'll see. Okay, project number two in this bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, my this is the floss that I have pulled together for my doors project. It's in a Ziploc baggie tucked inside my project bag. Um, oh, those blues, look at those blues. They're so beautiful. They're just the most beautiful blues. Okay, so that's uh, 336-931 what's over on the other side, that really dark, dark, let me take it out of the, this dark blue is so beautiful. 823, 823, there. Can I get that? The focus box keeps moving on me, there. Oh my gosh, look at that blue. I think that's got to be one of my most favorite dark blues. It's just, isn't it the perfect color? That's beautiful. 823. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blues. Now I want to work on this project more than ever. It's funny how color just does that, right? Okay, the second project and the last project in this bag is a favorite by many Quaker Diamonds. Quaker Diamonds, of course, by the one and only Karen Kluba of Rosewood Manor. <sighs> now I am stitching this with a, con a floss conversion done years and years ago by Vicki Clayton. So she put out a silk thread conversion kit and I bought it at the time. Sadly, she is no longer uh, making floss. She's no longer dyeing um, silk stitching floss, which is a shame because man, alive her colors were glorious okay so here is where i'm at so quaker diamonds let me just bring it nice and close i think i can tell that most of it is in the screen it's just so beautiful so i'll bring it a little closer 
me see if it's in focus. Looks like it is. I have made it all the way over to the right side of the top of the design. Unusually, I did not start this piece in the bottom left, which is very unlike me. Look at that center motif. Isn't that stunning? Sorry, I know there's a wrinkle in the middle of it, but I think you get the idea. It's just beautiful. And this one here, I loved stitching that one. That was really, really fun. So next up, I'm going to finish that one there, that diamond. And this diamond, of course, right there. Just love it. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. I think, is that? That shows there. I just, I just don't have enough time. I just don't have enough time. Ugh. I want to stitch and make and knit and sew all the things, all the things. It's just, it's happiness, happiness in a project bag. Okay. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of, of a view of my stash and treats that I brought up to keep me company this summer. And, uh, I will pick a different bag, uh, maybe tomorrow. So. We'll see what else is in the in the treasure chests in the tickle trunks okay so uh i will say goodbye for today i have some more whips to share with you in the viewer whip parade i still have lots of people to email um, for update photos from um, sending me emails in the first two weeks of july i'm slowly making my way through those i've i think i did four or five more last night and i so i'm if i email you your 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 whip might not show up the very next day but it should show up within a couple of days of me messaging you. And thank you for those of you who've emailed me back and shared a little update on yourself and your whip. It's just been, it's been lovely. So it's been really nice to keep in touch. And I, as I've said before, it's a favorite part of doing these videos for me is adding those in at the end. They're really, really fun. And I'm glad so many of you enjoy seeing them as well. So it's a, it's a bit of a special treat for me to be able to do that. So thank you for sharing. Okay, so I'm off. Um, while the sun is still shining and my batteries are still charging outside, I'm off to start up the sewing machine. I might heat up my coffee first. Now, when I say heat up, what I mean is add some more coffee and boiling water to it. We use a mocha pot at the cottage, um, a lovely Italian designed, um, you know, they're, they're, they're quite reasonably priced. There's those small metal, um, you know, they screw apart and the coffee goes in the bottom and then the water comes up through the bottom like a percolator and they, they just make delicious coffee and it's the best way for us to make coffee here. Um, with no with no machine and I love it so I'm going to freshen it up with a little bit of coffee and water and get to work so thank you for thank you for visiting with me again today I hope you're well please take care of yourself and I will see you tomorrow happy stitching everybody <laughs>